So, welcome to Hotlanta. Um, this is where we're staying. We literally have six boxes. One box goes to each table as far as the uh, buyer's packet. So when they buy, you hand them that packet. Pretty easy. I mean, it's the same thing we always do. Russell gets up on stage, he kills it. It goes crazy. We take order forms, we run payments. We go home richer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're doing amazing. <laughs> you hear about the surprise we're doing um, for Todd yeah, tonight? Yeah. Do you know about it? Um, I, I Jake told me a little bit. So this is this is the the purpose. Is I know that if I just asked Todd, he'd say no, and then I give it to him as a gift because you can't like give back a gift. Ah. And so that's kind of the the thing. I'm like this is your Christmas gift. We have to like you can't re-gift your gift. We have to make this a thing, and then he'll have to say yes. I hope it works. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Me too. I'm so My wife Colette. Hi, I'm Lauren. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. Lauren is the MC and she'll be introducing okay. you tomorrow. Very cool. She's also a ClickFunnels user. Yes, She's been I donating am. $297 a month. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for creating it though. It's amazing oh, like yeah. how many cool things people have. Yeah. It's been fun. It's been a crazy ride. It's crazy behind it. Every time. <laughs> yeah. Right. Awesome. Yeah, Fair. okay. Seven o'clock. Should we go to Todd's party right now? Sweet. Surprise him. Okay. Do you make your birthday present? Yes. What is it? Okay, we're going back to the hotel room. Yeah. We got dinner in an hour. Okay, it's it plenty of time. What was your thought? What did you think it was? I don't know. I, I, I mean, I don't know. Honestly, like, I, but now I'm like way thrown off because now you're saying it reduces churn and stuff. So I'm not sure what it could be. Yeah. Todd, you can sit Let's there. Ashley's next to him. All right, you're part of the. Everyone else comes sit on the couch if you guys want. All right, we gathered together in a hotel room tonight. <laughs> we found out all of our friends. To uh, there's Todd and Ashley. Oh, a bunch of other our friends, and uh, we're about to um, show Todd the future of ClickFunnels, and he doesn't even know it yet. I have no idea what's going on. Unless he hates it, then it's not the future. <laughs> it might end right now. Okay. All right, what do we got? So we've gathered you here today because. Um, I knew if I asked you this initially, you'd say no. So I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so now the peer pressure will force you. <laughs> just kidding. Jake sat down and designed something that's so freaking amazing. Um, Jake just replaced all the designers. <laughs> <in> the entire <laughs> company. They're all gone. So we're not, it's not, uh, it's not like a, a whole new design other than obviously the onboarding, the homepage, onboarding process, and then like the initial dashboard. So you've actually got something designed. I'm excited now. Yeah. <laughs> So behind this curtain this is, is hopefully the new ClickFunnels dashboard. So <laughs> okay, you ready for this? Here we go. Oh. 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 Nice. This. Awesome. I don't know why you're scared. I mean. <laughs> okay, so now my Christmas gift that I want from you is can we get this live by Christmas? No. <laughs> by our birthday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe. <laughs> This about, isn't near as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like, I'm going to hate it. I was like, I love this. Let's do it. Whew. Such a build up. <laughs> so I, I need to bring Happy it. Happy birthday. <laughs> no, I do like it. Awesome. All right, let's get some dinner. So we just uh, woke up, <laughs> got ready. We were up to like one o'clock last night working on slides, and now the um, show's about to start. So we're heading down there to uh, the event room. I'm a little nervous. This is the first time I've ever done this presentation. Uh, it's only an hour, you just be for 90 minutes, and we're selling a $500 product. All new things, new variables, three new variables. But the reason why I said yes, because I literally retired from public speaking outside of Funnel Hacking Live after the TEDx one. But, um, we wanted to change a presentation and test one out so that the speaker team can do one because um, most people aren't letting them have 90 minutes on stage and most people don't want them to sell $3,000 off like we normally do. So this is basically a test um, so I can do this presentation, see if it works, and then um, I'll have a recording that I can then give the speaker team so they can learn the pitch. And so that's really the, the main reason I'm doing this is just to create, create a presentation for them. Um, you'll notice in these slides, I don't talk about myself at all. I have my stories in there, and that's by design because I want to make this where Dave could literally do his presentation tomorrow. He just changes one slide, writes Dave Woodward's click button instead of Russell Brunson's <laughs> click buttons. And so that's, that's, uh, that's how we're doing it. Russell. 
Project. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Stephanie Anderson. Just in case I ran into you. Oh. I was hoping you would sign these <laughs> for Thank me. you. That'd be awesome. What are the chances of that? <laughs> I was like, people are gonna think I'm crazy. <laughs> Running around with these books, hoping I'm gonna run into Russell Price. <laughs> Freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Where are you from? You from here? Yes. Oh, oh. Wait. Find me hold up for Yeah. Hold on. I, I can't not get this. <laughs> Awesome. Man, thank you. Appreciate yeah, you. No worries. Yeah, report. Super. Sure. Thanks, man. Hey, Nori. Good to meet you. Thank you. Can I get a pick? Sorry, I know Thank you're you. out here. I'll take the cool body. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much. No worries. Thank you. Go quick, quick. I gotta go. I'm in trouble. Oh. So We're gonna have to okay. go. What's up? Get out of here. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you in a bunch of years. Yes. How you been? Amazing. How about you? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Wouldn't have expected anything less. Don't be nervous. I know how. I know <laughs> how. Yeah. I do get nervous every time. Do you not? Really? Yeah. Every time I, I get nervous. I sleep before. <laughs> I do. Literally, I fall asleep before. If you see me before, I'm nodding out. You're out cold. Good to see you. Ah, the anxious nerves before you go on. And it's like, also you get tired, so it's like, I don't know, it's like the yawn, the adrenaline, I don't know, the adrenaline gets up and you get tired from it, and then you're, like, you're yawning, you're like, I can't be asleep, I gotta, I've done $500 off from stage ever in my history of my career, even like way back in the day. So I think it should be super easy to sell, um, but I've also never done a 60 minute presentation. So hopefully the shrink in time will be okay with the shrink in the price. And hopefully I don't go 90 minutes because I have never timed this yet. Okay, good luck. Oh He's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, of course it's water. You're going to yeah. kill it. Just bring the energy to this place. It's like I've rushing. Like, I must have like yeah. 20 slides. It's like, I must have skipped like 30 slides. Oh, awesome. Thank you. No problem. Cool. Yeah. How's the uh, audience? The energy, it got warm so. inside, which got great. Okay. But the backside is so disengaged. Uh, oh. So. So basically, how are you doing, Russell? Francie, nice to yeah. meet you. She knows you because everybody knows Russell. So you probably knew who I was. And... Yeah, I actually met you at Sang event like eight or nine years ago. Really? I don't even remember that. Yeah, you must have. Well, because you look different than. <laughs> I actually, someone posted a picture of you, and I'm like, you're like more like round. <laughs> I was a little heavier. <laughs> yeah, a little I round. Lost, I lost a little weight since yeah. then. I was so back then. <laughs> so people still think I'm an asshole based on how they met me eight years ago. They're like, I'm like when did you meet him eight years ago? I'm like. People do get older, and they do mature, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so I'm going to do it, just get their energy up and do a couple giveaways before I, cool. before I do it. Rock ah. it! Have a great time. Fun. <gasps> I hate this part. It's the worst. Oh man, I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. Who here has never heard of funnels before? Oh, we are gonna blow your mind today. I'm so excited. All right, for me, like when I had my own businesses, I was growing, I was learning things were good. But as soon as I started teaching other people and sharing these things with other people, that's where my growth really started happening. Okay, so it's that shift from growth to contribution. Um, it's and so I'm simple and so easy. That's why we say, what we just be free entrepreneurs. No longer have to call a tech person to go do all these things, you just do it. Like momentum is the secret, this is not hard. That sound good? Hey, thank you guys so much for letting me be here, and I'll see you live next Monday when the challenge starts. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> My tongue is tired. Dude, you were on fire. <laughs> Great job. It's okay. Good to see you guys. Are you up right now? Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Might as well sell back to back. Like. <laughs> So if you guys are gonna go have fun, cool. If you wanna meet up for lunch, let me know. At least okay. it's out in the audience. We got married on Sunday. I should tell your wife. The last Sunday? Yeah. It already happened? Yeah. Oh we're, crap. We're going to Italy to do it. Yeah. Which okay. is our family, but it was too much complication. Yeah. So oh. like last Saturday, like, why don't we get married Wait, tomorrow? I'm like, all right, let's do it. Yeah. So you do like a just ceremony there then? No, just her parents and <laughs> Justice Bees came fun. over. It used to be. Done. All right. Zero. <laughs> all right, good. See you guys. Good luck up there. <laughs> I unzipped my shoes. Like, <laughs> Callous your mind.
Hey, everybody. Okay. I'll be your director. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know Gene already, right? Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Good to see you. So, uh, Go ahead, I just want to just have a seat and I'll yeah, brief you on Yeah, Russell Kanozaki's producer, executive director. Cool. Yeah. Also, uh, a member of your two comic club. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. So let's go and have a seat Kevin. here. Good to go then. <clears throat> get the slate. Uh, where's Anthony? Russell Brunson, take one. Hey friends, it's Gene McNaughton with Success Resources. It is an absolute honor to have our guest here, Russell Brunson. <laughs> Great Thank you, it. man. Thanks for being here. I notice in your marketing, you're always giving something first. You're giving the blueprint. In your podcast, you're sharing the exact details of the situation, what you did, and how you drove the outcome. Now, there's a lot of people that market, market, <laughs> market, and make all the big promises, but you're giving things up first. How does that work yeah. for you? Um, I think it's it's really like the long, the longer game. Like you can always trick people into like giving you money or something with like, oh, I'm gonna show you this secret thing, but you gotta pay me. But then like the person doesn't buy again. Like they buy once, and it's like a weird, a weird relationship. And I was like, I want to be in this business for. A decade or ten, decades, you know, I want to keep on longevity, and so because of that's like you have to give a lot, and and then law reciprocity comes back. I've had people literally, we had a kid the other day that bought my book. This is probably two years ago. Went through, built a big, a big company, won a bunch of awards from us, and then he joined my high-end coaching program. He's like, I feel guilty, like I've I've paid seven ninety-five for the book, I made this whole business. He's like, I'm giving you money, I don't even want to be in your coaching program, but I feel like I owe you that much money back. So he gave us twenty-five thousand dollars to join this program just because he felt obligated because we just had given so much. And I think, um, you know, now with social media and stuff that whoever's giving the most are the ones that people follow and they keep plugging into and keep tuning into and so we try to give a ton and when you do that and you help people um, at, at, a, at a little level they want more and they just keep they keep following and keep keep engaging at higher levels with you talk about how important goal setting is for you oh it's it's so important it's funny because like a lot of times I think we set a goal and it's like we don't hit the goal like I'm a failure and it's like no you set a goal you miss it okay what's the new goal and like and it's it's kind of more of a it's more flexible, you know. I, I grew up. I was a wrestler, and so I always had. I, I want to be a state champ and then a national champ, and but along that path, like we, I would lose tons of matches. But I lose a match, look at it. What do I need to tweak and change? And then come back again and come back again. And eventually, I got to those goals. I think the biggest thing is a lot of people set goals, and sometimes they get fearful because like, oh, what if I don't hit it? Then I'm a failure. And it's like, set a goal and then start running towards it. But be okay if it if it fails. Like, hey, what are the adjustments I need to make? Reset the goal and go again. Set you know, reset the goal, go again, and just and keep going because that's. That's the best part of life is the chasing of it, you know? When you get the goal, it's never as cool. Like getting your hand raised at the wrestling mat or, you know, cashing the checks, never as cool as, as the journey. Um, and so it's just like enjoying the journey and just keep resetting the goals and, and don't freak out about the failures. And I remember you saying, I've got this other opportunity that I'm working on. I've got this other thing. And that, I believe, was the beginning of ClickFunnels. Yeah. How did it originate? When, when did you say, <laughs> this is what the world needs? Yeah, and you never know till. That's the, that's the fascinating thing about the market. You never know what's going to hit until you put it out there. So you're always trying thing after thing. And um, you know, we had we had been helping entrepreneurs for a long time, like like teaching them and coaching them, and having fun with that. But every single entrepreneur always got stuck at the technical parts. Like they would conceptually understand, okay, that's what I need to do. And then they're like, but I don't like, how do I actually do that? You know, they didn't know, and uh, it was hard for them to progress. And so um, I have my business partner Todd, who's the best developer I've ever met. He was like, I think I could build something that makes this easy. So he started that process of building it, and it was funny because as um, as he would get iterations of it done, he's like, "Here, try it." And I would try to do stuff. I'm like, "How does it work?" I don't understand. He's like, oh, "I failed," and I'm like, "Well, tell me." He's like, "No, if you can't figure it out, then we failed." And so they had had people like record videos of me trying to use it. And if I got stuck, he's like, "Hey, I do it again." And he kept going back until it was simple enough that I could do it. And as as I was able to start doing like building these web pages and funnels that I've been like always having to hire people, and when I could do it, I was like. Oh my gosh, there's something here. Like this is simple enough that any entrepreneur could do it. And then we were just like, okay, this is the focus. And we ended up shutting down and selling off every other idea, every other business, yep. and just went 100% in. And next month it'll be our five-year birthday since the launch of ClickFunnels, and it's just been been all-consuming and like the most the, the craziest ride of my life. Very all right, cool. It's, wrap, all right. it's a wrap. Where's the bathroom? Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Not really. <laughs> kidding. Not kidding. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Hey, everybody, real fast. I just want to express a massive amount of appreciation to you guys. For us, one of the main things we really wanted to get out of this uh, that made it successful for us, and that was to be able to actually have a video from of Russell actually doing this presentation. We've never done it before. Uh, but for us, it was just awesome, and I'm so appreciative for you guys, each and every single one of you. Uh, once all this processing and stuff is done, I hope you guys have a fun time, go out and enjoy Atlanta. And again, thank you guys so much. I, I can't say enough about how awesome you guys are, so thank you.
man. See, listen. This is the problem. If they had a funnel, we'd be able to just get through this whole thing without being confused. But this is a website, man. This is chaos. Do I want Dolphin Coast? Do I want Tropical Diver? I don't know. I don't know where to go. 